Hey, here's a cool new program I got called Purple Pin. It's free. Uh, it's named after the fact that most orienteering control points are magenta color to purple on the on the map here. Uh, zooming in close here on our map, you see that uh, the start is here at the water spigot. Uh, control number one is right here at the shower house. Two goes up here. Oop. Two goes up here in the road. Three, four, five. Six, seven, and then the ending is right here at the flagpoles. So that's what this map is doing. Uh, what's fun about this thing is that you can go through and pick your spots under all controls, and you can put tons of balloons. You know, put a balloon on every water spigot, put one in every campsite, and if people leave them alone, they'll just be there. Uh, you could even make them out of PVC or you know reflective tape or something permanent. The camp could even use it all the time, but for us, we could use anything, paper plates or balloons or whatever and um, on the balloon you would write the number 32 or 47 and when you cl click over here you'll see that uh, 36 is here and and these are all going to be showing up on a control card it should be kind of a clue card here uh, so this is not the course this is just the mar the control stations uh, we have a course here called uh, Joel the fourth he's in sh uh, he's in shape so he can run a long way we got uh, Joel the third. He's not in shape as once as, as he once was, and so um, a little bit shorter course. For instance, on the start right here is this control, and it's going basically north. You can just put a little clue in here of up. That's kind of nice, and the the participants will be able to see this little card. Uh, this one here is going to the right, uh, kind of the right like that. And these are not really official compass points, but it does give up a little bit of a clue. And so. The Joel the third course is going in a circle right in the infield here. Joel the fourth is going further out, uh, out here like this. And uh, the interesting thing is that control number seven has a 35 control number on the Joel fourth. And the Joel the third course, this one here, number four, has a control also of 35 because ultimately this is the same, the same balloon sitting there. You're just rerouting the guys in different directions, so you could have some advanced guys going way out and doing one thing and some younger guys doing little ones so um, at a public meet people come in and they just ask you just ask them are they going to do the beginner course or the uh, or the medium course or the hard course the more advanced and you just hand them a different map and um, but all you have to do is get a couple of older scouts to go and set all these balloons just send them out to do this and um, you can send them all the way down to the dock here wherever you want them to go and um, the good thing about it is you can once you set these if you make a lot of courses and you move these it'll move it in all the courses and um, so it's very versatile this prints out a card a punch card that'll have a bunch of little uh, grid patterns on it and um, it'll have all these numbers and the people have to just go around normally and punch the card but in this case we could just write uh, a secret control uh, symbol on here so when they get to number seven uh, they know that it's supposed to be have a 35 so when they get there uh, it's only number seven so they'll know which one to go to next but at 35 is what it'll say they'll know they're in the right place they'll have say the letter Z so they write a Z when you get back to you you look around and, and use your key and, and uh, if for some reason they went from five straight to seven and skipped this one then you would know because uh, they'd be out of order or they would run out they say that you missed one or something like that anyway it's a cool program you could make up everything beforehand, print it all out. We could make one for each day, make a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We can add a course here. We can call it uh, Monday, uh, say Tuesday. Um, you come in here, it, all you have is the start and the finish. Add a control. You could just put you know, the most simple course right there. Start, go to there and come back. You've only got one control. And um, you could start them off like that and then the next day you know, go further. That's it.